everything sounds normal for you. My poor papa's an emotional train wreck who hasn't seen real victories in days. Or a hot shower. But I think that's the norm for all Smashers. But he's still the greatest to me. He plays the heel, so he doesn't always draw the most pleasant attention. But the way he keeps smiling in spite of that... I admire it so much! When I eventually do evolve, I want to become a Smasher just like him! I already know what my stage name will be. The Jinx. Oh my god! Oh, thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Well, who cares? Who cares who you were back then? Obviously, it's not who you are anymore. What's done is done. All you can do is move on. And hopefully, the people you've hurt will be willing to move on too. They were just going easy on me so I can live it in the fake glory. I know. I'm not too strong. I'm quite weak when it comes to fighting. I couldn't even fight back against Ridley. But I have determination. Whatever that may do to me as a fighter. I'll take it. No matter how many punches I get, I'm going to keep trying to get better. I'll train myself more and more until I become a real fighter. No matter what, Mr. Mayor, I will do it! Oh, very much, sir! One of the good things about being an assist trophy at the last world was that it gave me a little insight of what Smash World was all about. I only can tell you the excitement I felt when I got that letter, sir! Yes, Mr. Mayor! And you know, another good thing about being an assist trophy was that I was able to help whoever summoned me by throwing them all the food I had at my disposal. And I enjoyed the most of it when it was you who sent me, sir. Boys, boys, boys. My beauty is unmeasurable to the likes of anyone here. Plus, I'm always going to be Daddy's little helper. So if anyone should be his favorite, it should be me. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys are so mean. Hey, Guppy. Macho. Yes, Mori! Get <laughs> away! Chop it off like you never chopped it off of before! <laughs> <laughs> no. no! No! It's okay, Miku. Help! Please! Please! I'm sorry. I try something bad still happens. All I do is hurt people. Where are you heading off at this hour? It's time for bed. <laughs> oh, what the hell's wrong with cat? Time. Oh, hi there, cutie princess. I'm your biggest fan. Can you please autograph my left eyeball? Uh, you don't think I'm cute? But oh, wait, but, but I. Gandalf, he didn't even need the bat. He just punched the sandbag and sent it flying. He worked a long time to hit that record, too. Guess it's kind of like fighting, huh? How she managed that? I know Peach has strong moves, but... Well, she was fighting you. Ain't your feet, Peach! Just your feet! No, of course not. You were scary to me at first, but then you started flying. It was really cool, so I wanted to get to know you and maybe become friends with you. I just really got hungry following you around all day. Oh, that's great. I can't wait to... Wait, what? What do you mean we're not doing that today? Taking a break? Why? I thought you lived for that sole purpose. Okay, yeah, that. But that still doesn't explain why we're taking a break from playing against those pissed lovers. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. I can't let him disappear from my life. Thank you, Richter. Fare thee well. <sighs> if it weren't for this damned nerf I got, I have no use for you fools. So don't take this privilege for granted. You better make yourself useful by the time I restore my powers and gain my title. I've taken some time to think, and I realize that you fools could really use my help. After all, we have a common enemy, and I have some juicy information that I think you'll find rather useful. Oh, come on, Toby. Big Sis would love to make you a part of our family. 
We could use a guy like you in our little group. You're employed for life in this job. Hard to ever leave a life of crime as long as you lived it. But even if you want to try and leave, I can't possibly let a catch like you scam her off. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. This land used to be where we were once united, until opposing ideologies segregated us and showed sides I thought I'd never see. This endless cycle of war must stop! Nothing is going to be accomplished! The only thing guaranteed are reduced resources in a stagnant society! I wish to not sacrifice any more blood. Say that you win this war. And then what? You sit down and drink some wine while you watch innocent people suffer? Is that your view on what you called paradise? You selfish crook! I know me and your father hasn't been in neutral terms recently. And we both want different things for you. I just... I just want what's best for you. However, you're maturing into a beautiful young lady. And I want you to make your own decisions. If you choose to side with your father, that's fine. You will still be my little girl no matter what.